Hi there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and welcome to yet another sensational launch. It's raining EVs all over the place. The future is certainly electric and it is electrifying than ever before because each manufacturer is upping the ante, setting new standards and boy, we are in for a party <laughs> because the kind of numbers these guys are coming up with, the claims that they're coming up with, puts your imagination or takes your uh, imagination to a completely different level. Now, this one is Simple, and uh, that's the name that these guys go by. Simple One, Simple Energy One is the new, sharper, sleeker, leaner, and meaner uh, to take or invade the market by storm. Though the name is Simple, the product isn't. It is absolutely kick-ass. Uh, with sharp cutting edge design and uh, guess what this is uh, the design is based on uh, the Indian paradise flycatcher it's a bird and uh, the design inspiration comes from there and last time we saw a design ins inspiration taken from a bird it was the Honda Blackbird or the Peregrine Falcon the Hayabusa so it is uh, quite a concept I had seen the uh, initial teaser pic of this in a sunset and it was looking absolutely kick-ass now it looks even more complete and finished and this still is the prototype that they uh, call it they don't say it is the finished product so there is a little bit of fine tuning that goes into making the fit and finish even better this color truly truly looks elegant so let me first turn on the uh, this thing and here is the simple one logo this is the dash we have four riding modes to go by i'll talk about that in a moment first let us try and look at the design nice uh, drls right over there like the uh, eye of a predator eyes of the predator ready to absolutely uh, you know pounce on its prey and led lighting up front and i believe you get 30 mm telescopic folks up front 12 inch wheels at both ends and uh, underbone chassis uh, which is the norm these days and then you have alloy wheels 12 inch alloy wheels and they look absolutely stunning MRF zapper tires uh, 200 mm disc at both ends is what they say uh, 200 mm disc up front and 200 mm disc at the back these are vibrate discs that's interesting and twin aluminium swing arm at the back and then you have a monoshock at the back as well so the seat is nice and spacious uh, the floorboard is flat the leg room is decent enough you can say it is not abundant or generous but yes the front panels are carved out so it is there is decent room for a six footer right over there seat is nice and spacious made up of good quality foam and it can accommodate uh, you know husband and wife or a friend along with a pillion so this is the design what do you guys think feel free to comment below the dash looks kick as you can see uh, this is where i feel a little more work needs to be done this panel looks a little unfinished so i'm sure they're going to fine tune it and make it more chiseled and uh, more uh, fine tuned and uh, the finishing on this is going to be much more smoother once the actual production variant comes out high beam low beam uh, lights and uh, turn indicator starter button engine kill switch so that's things may uh, that makes things a lot more easier here you have the motor off uh, this thing and uh, you can turn it on and then once you hit the starter button uh, okay as you can see now the motor is on absolutely pin drop silence so 
there is nothing that uh, lets you understand that the motor is on apart from this uh, icon on the dash so that is a good thing so let us turn it off by killing the engine uh, not engine the motor kill switch it is lightweight and it is a torque master i mean it delivers incredible torque is what they say and uh, lower maintenance cost so all of this contribute to a better package when compared to a bldc motor so this uh, the torque is around 72 newton meters and uh, talking about the uh, battery now the battery is a 4.5 kilowatt hour battery uh, which is usable it's actually 4.8 kilowatt hour battery of which uh, 0.3 kilowatt hour is used by the uh, onboard uh, you know lights and other uh, electricals so for 4.5 kilowatt hour battery is what is usable and uh, out of this how much time does it take to charge that is a crucial crucial question so 80 percent charge in just uh, two hours is what they claim and that comes courtesy of the 1.4 kilowatt uh, battery charger so that is something you need to buy at paying a nominal extra cost i'll be mentioning that cost in the uh, description portion as well as right up on the screen so this wraps up the kind of an overview now the interesting part the riding modes and the the claim the range claim that is the most important thing when it comes to uh, evs these days so we are in the ride mode and 90 percent charge and it already shows 144 kilometers right over here it does get a uh, touch screen uh, uh, this thing uh, feature but for now it has been disabled uh, because they are still working on the prototype then you hit this you are in eco mode uh, this is the button to change uh, the modes the this arrow and this arrow then you also have cruise control which is again will be active once the production model is up and running so for now this is just a prototype to give us a feel of the scooter it i've done a couple more than a couple of rounds on this and it does feel very well planted i'm going to push it now after this uh, walk around eco mode the claim is uh, in the eco mode the claim is 230 kilometers idc that is ideal uh, riding conditions but uh, the true range that they're claiming if you ride sensibly is 200 which is again huge for a scooter so class leading uh, range among the scooters you can say and then of course you have uh, ride mode uh, where uh, the range comes down to maybe 140 to 160 and uh, then you have the dash mode where the range comes down to 120 to 140 and then uh, the sonic mode where the range is around 85 to 90 so now we are getting with 90 percent charge it shows 72 kilometers so first we're going to ride in the sonic mode and see how fast uh, it drains out the battery we have to remember the uh, this thing odo it shows 72 kilometers here and then we'll uh, change to different modes and see how well the battery is optimized so this is an overview and uh, the top speed the top speed in the sonic mode is 105 kilometers per hour the top speed in the dash mode is around uh, 90 kilometers per hour and the top speed in the ride mode is around uh, 60 to 75 maybe and uh, in the eco mode the top speed is around 45 to 50 so the this has become the norm but uh, what makes them different what why choose uh, simple energy one the first thing is the price advantage price is just one lakh ten thousand is what they're claiming apart from the state subsidy which you might be getting and uh, then of course uh, is the range the range anxiety is something that completely you know plays on your mind keeps playing on your mind doesn't allow you to ride freely and enjoy the scooter all that much so the range anxiety has been addressed clearly here by simple energy one by offering stupendous 230 kilometers range that is idc and 200 kilometer true range that is absolutely nailing the game and then of course accessibility the pricing as i told you one lakh ten thousand it is not super premium you're getting a premium offering in the accessible price range affordable price range that is the key here and then of course of course the performance performance is absolutely top notch is what they're claiming 72 newton meters torque uh, sonic mode is going to drive you crazy is what they're saying and top speed of 105 kilometers per hour so here i doubt whether we'll be able to achieve the top speed but still i'll try to push it to the, its limits and check the stability and the suspension and the chassis stability the braking the road grip everything this is still a prototype but we're going to push it to its limits and test it in typical dino style another major plus is the boot space here you can see 
around uh, 30 liters of boot space and this is the hybrid battery technology where you have one third of the battery which is detachable you just need to put this and pull it out and slot it back into place you can take it home and charge it to give you a good 40 50 kilometer range to uh, do quick uh, runs nearby your home but uh, the remaining two-thirds of the battery is non-detachable so that is something flexibility hybrid battery system that kind of underscores the specialty of simple energy one now the important question on everyone's mind is does it catch fire <laughs> well jokes apart yes the thermal management of the battery so they say they have a specialized kind of a function or kind of a feature which isolates the battery cell from the other so the battery pack is designed in such a way that even if one battery cell gets punctured it stays within that uh, you know chamber and does it you know pass on to the other uh, battery cells so at the end of the day you are protected you can't say it is fireproof but they have tried their max to make it as foolproof as possible to prevent it from catching fire now another important thing that you need to know is the 0 to 40 timing 0 to 40 kilometers per hour comes up in just 2.77 seconds is what they claim after they have find you fine tuned it even further earlier it was 2.95 seconds now they have brought it down to 2.77 seconds that is crazy acceleration so let's see how fast it accelerates while riding it so i hope i addressed all the questions if you have any other questions feel free to comment below i'll try to answer them but for now what do you think about the design the flying indian paradise <laughs> indian paradise is the design inspiration looks pretty pretty sharp and kick-ass this is the tail lamp wow i am falling in love with this design <laughs> looks so futuristic it's like uh, from the cyberpunk uh, 2077 universe or cyberpunk universe whatever it is man this looks super kick-ass uh, looks like it's built by a bunch of gamers i mean uh, the form factor i'm falling in love with it i'm sure it's gonna ride just as well as it looks so for now let's hit the road